In this video, I'm gonna go over how to deadlift for beginners and how to perform the deadlift properly. Let's get started. So first things first when actually getting set up for the deadlift. First you wanna find a stance by going to jump and using that stance you're automatically using to find the most athletic position that's gonna make you do the most weight and be the most explosive. If you don't do this correctly, I've seen people that do really wide stances, their hands are too far out. It doesn't look normal. It doesn't look like it's a very strong position. So a slightly narrower stance for some people is actually gonna be better than a wider stance. So now that you have your stance, you're gonna be finding the position right outside your legs that's gonna be the correct position to grab the bar. I wanna be thinking about taking my stance and grabbing just right outside, because if you go too wide, it's gonna make it so that your hip position is gonna be a lot lower, your upper body's gonna have to be a lot closer. But the closer you are, the more upright you can be with your torso, and that's what you want. Another important thing that a lot of people don't pay attention to, especially beginners, is not breathing correctly. So you're not supposed to be breathing out or breathing in at any point during the deadlift. When you're in that deadlift position where you're getting set up, you're gonna take that deep breath in, you're gonna breathe down into your stomach, and you're gonna hold it throughout the entire movement. You're not gonna breathe out on the way up or breathe out on the way down. You wanna hold it and keep it there the whole entire rep. So you take that deep breath down to your stomach, Hold it, do the rep, bring the bar all the way back down to the bottom position, then you can breathe out. And the next thing we wanna think about when we're actually doing the deadlift is taking in a deep breath down into your stomach, filling up your obliques and your lower back and holding it throughout the entire movement. This is gonna make it so that your back is gonna be locked into a solid position. You don't have to worry about your low back rounding over because by taking that deep breath in and using intra-abdominal pressure, it's gonna protect your spine, it's gonna make sure you can lift more weight and you're gonna do it safely. So for me, it's gonna look like this. Breathing down, trying to fill up my, my abs, my obliques, my low back with as much air as possible. And I combine that with pulling myself down into position and getting my chest up. So here's what that's gonna look like. Deep breath, pull yourself down into position, chest up, hips back, right there. I've seen people do this many, many times where they're deadlifting, they get injured, and it's because they aren't using intra-abdominal pressure to pressurize their core, make sure their back is in a nice neutral position, and they're using too much weight anyway, so form goes out the window and everything kind of just breaks down from there. And pulling the slack out of the bar at the same time this is gonna allow you to push your hips back as you pull yourself down into position, and at the same time, your chest should come up slightly. This is your basic starting position. If you don't pull the slack out of the bar, it's gonna be a lot harder to break the bar off of the ground with heavier weights. So you wanna pull that slack out of the bar, and you're physically using the bar to pull yourself down into the correct position. So make sure you're doing this. You don't wanna just slow yourself down and just try to pull the bar off the ground. You wanna be using the bar itself, pulling the slack out of it. Right here, you're gonna hear a slight click. You wanna do that every single rep. If you just pull it off the ground without doing that, then you're gonna to have to pull the initial weight off the ground. It's gonna hit the plate and that's gonna pull you out of position and you're not gonna be able to use much weight on it. Get into position, take that deep breath. And then you can hear that slight pull right there. That's me pulling the slack out of the bar and automatically pulling myself down into the right position I wanna be in. And then here's another thing that people get wrong a lot and that's how to actually do the deadlift. So a lot of people, they get set up, their setup is good, everything looks awesome, and then instead of doing it correctly, they pull with their upper body and they're trying to just muscle it up with their back. And that's not how you do a deadlift properly. You get set up in the proper position and you start the movement by pushing your feet through the ground and not by pulling with your upper body. From that position, all I'm thinking about doing is driving through the ground with my feet as opposed to pulling it with my upper body. Because if I do it wrong, it looks like this. I see this all the time, you just pull it with your upper back. Horrible deadlift, right? But if I take that deep breath in, I get everything locked into place, I'm driving through my feet. Much better. If you're getting some value from this video, definitely consider dropping a comment down below with what you learned, how you're gonna set up in the deadlift properly for yourself to make sure your posture is correct, your technique is on point, and you're deadlifting properly. What is the main things that you've been paying attention to that you learned in this video? And what are some things that you've learned on your strength and conditioning journey when it comes to getting stronger at the deadlift, using correct form? What are some tips that you've picked up along the way that helped you out? Share them in the comments below. I really appreciate it. I'm fine guys, I'm fine. So here's what the checklist is gonna look like. Find a stance by taking a jump, find out where your stance is gonna be from there, grip right outside the bar, take a deep breath, pull yourself down into position, push to the feet, get the hips through, and then sit back, lower it back down. 
So as you can see, there's a lot of ways you can do this incorrectly. Just a couple things to think about is that every time you do the deadlift, when you're getting to that top position, you wanna be pushing your hips through, but not hyper extending your back and making your low back shift back. I see this all the time, people, they do the deadlift, they get to the top and then their back is arching back at the top. Try not to do that, it's not very good, you know, it's not very good for your spine and you have a loaded barbell in your hand, so once you get to heavier weights, that could be a problem. Try to stand up in a normal position. You pull the slack out of the bar, you stand up with it, you push the hips through once it gets past the knees and you finish the lift. For those of you that are following these tips and it's still not clicking, I would recommend investing in a trap bar because this is probably the number one thing I use for beginners to help build confidence and strength through all the supporting muscles before transitioning to a regular barbell. And the reason for this is because it's got that higher handle, so you're gonna have a higher chest position, you're not gonna have to worry about your forearm being locked in as much. And because the bar's not in front of you, you can just grab the neutral grip handles and pull yourself down in position, it's very, very easy. It's not the exact same movement, but it's a good way to build confidence and get stronger on it over time, as opposed to, you know, not deadlifting at all. But that's it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're new to the channel and you like to see how to get stronger and build more muscle, start now by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.